What's up, everybody? It's Dre Day back again with another episode of the Dash Series. What up, everybody? I'm back with an awesome group of people. Yes, playoffs are over, finals are over, all that good stuff is over. But we still got more uh, Hyper Dash activities and content for y'all. If you guys get a chance, uh, we're going to be launching a new fun link soon. And we're going to be having some other things going on soon. But let's talk about that with our guests. Why am I going to talk about myself? Without further ado. They're your friends, they're my friends, they're everybody's friends. I got the whole entire IKEA board here. Well, not the whole entire IKEA board, just some of the guys. What's up, fellas? What's hey. up? Hey. hey. What's up, Dre? What's up? Welcome, Hello. welcome, welcome to the Dash series where we talk about Hyper Dash and Hy Hyper Dash related stuff and stuff that's side of Hyper Dash that makes you guys interesting. How are you guys feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Good, good. 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 Uh, Don't see. Not so I've seen some some I recognize some of these names on on the board. I mean, is, is what's going on? What is that Kia board exactly? Tell us. I mean, the team uh, is actually is named IKEA, but then we have the man, the myth, the legend himself, IKEA board over here. He, he's kind of the guy who started the team in a way. He used to start playing this game like a, a month ago now, and okay, then we started this, this small clan slash scrim team as a fun thing, and then more and more like Team and M, Onyx, Arc. And a bunch of those teams, you know, players from those teams who started like dropping in, kind of, and now it's a whole thing. Cool. So it's a mi so it's a bunch of teams mixed together. Is it a clan of some sort? Uh, I wouldn't call it like clan. It's more of a like a fun thing. We do we do a couple of scrims. We mess around. Nothing is really serious. We've done scrims with like missed on against like good teams, and it's really fun. And I, I know some of these like you got some big heavy hitter percent dark moon. What's going on with you guys? Well, you guys just decided to join the clan now. I got a uh, DM after. from IKEA board asking me to join, yeah. so I was like, "Fuck yeah!" You know, any opportunity to scrim is a, a good thing. Yeah. After the famous D scrim uh, against IKEA, I was I was uh, I guess I lost a bet, and I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. So the punishment was was join IKEA, and now I'm still still playing with them. I, I wouldn't call it a punishment, you know. It, yeah, it's yeah, it's not a punishment. It's a <laughs> it's torture. It's I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now you know it's me. More of a, it's more of a gift. You know me. I'm all about fun. So what makes IKEA scrim team people group uh, different than other scrim teams? Yeah, we mostly uh, play around. We don't just do a serious uh, scrim with the co a bunch of cons. We just play around, speak in our own languages, use we, special yeah, weapons. We got we got Noggle laughing and messing around like every scrim. It's pretty fun. I can say from being in like a bunch of scrim teams, IKEA is definitely one of the most fun. It's all about having fun. Like, you know, you are talking earlier before we started this about the uh, fun Dash League. And it's like very similar vibe. Everyone's just enjoying themselves. No one's overly focused on like objective or anything silly like that. Oh, that's, you know, that's what I'm about. Yeah, mentioning the fun DL. Uh, that's for us, not them league uh, coming out. Uh, if you guys want to participate in a league that's not serious, doesn't take itself serious, just here to have fun, make you laugh, that's the place to be. We got dance contests. What are what, what, what all the features? We got dance contests. You, got, you can listen in on comms, uh, style points, all kinds of weird stuff going on, man. What do you think about that first match, uh, Percent? That was fun as shit, man. <laughs> I mean, being the ref, being the bias uh, was, was really fun. I enjoyed it. You were handing out those uh, penalties with no discretion, man. You, you had people scared of you. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it, we, once you get a little bit of power and it goes to your head, you know, things happen. And the goon, man, doing his <laughs> job, the goon would go in there and tear things up. But it definitely uh, helped the side that was losing. Classic Scout is a great goon. Um, great dude to have on board. He was in there with it, like he was just waiting, like he was almost in the like he didn't even leave the match. He just sit in the background, and once we called him out, he came running out. Uh, you became part of the meta that day too, because I heard some people use the the, the tactic of hiding behind the ref so they wouldn't get shot. <laughs> There's all sorts of fun shit, like they're pretending to be the ref by yeah. grabbing shields. Yeah, that's another thing. Pretending to be ref, uh, but what happens when you get up next to the person? <laughs> like, what do you do? Just look at them. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a fun thing. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and check out the fun DL server. Uh, we're just here to have fun. But back to the board, man. I would love to have the IKEA over there on on that on that league, man. It sounds fun. What else are you guys doing? You guys are talking on the comms, like what, just in different languages with each other or something? How do you guys? Basically. How do you guys understand each other? You just don't. You just give up. 
<laughs> yeah, no, we don't. All right, I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> how how did you? Uh, I know how Dark Moon and Percent got into Hyper Dash. How did you get into the Hyper Dash uh, IKEA board? Uh, my friend Shiny and the East guy has the. Uh, uh, told me about this game and I and I had a VR so I I, I was like fuck it I'm buying the game and oh cool now, yeah now, here he is now I'm here and now he's better than me it happens <laughs> it happens man. it happens you just but you know you, you you get good at being bad and then you love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> how about you uh Iska how'd you get into this well, it's pretty much the same. Shiny recommended it to me. Like, I don't know. Shiny? End of 2020? Quite a while back, yeah. Yeah, yeah 2020, yeah. Get and it, I got it, and it was fun. Heck, it's addictive, man. It's, you gotta be, I tell people, be careful, because if you like it, you're going to love it. <laughs> you're going to love it. It's yeah. going to be... You're going to try to dash in real life. Don't do that. Insurance does not cover that. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> Insurance <laughs> does not cover telling the doctor I tried uh, no. to teleport from you here to there. you <laughs> Uh, how'd you so shiny you got so many people into it how'd you get into it um i kind of joined the entire like wreck from swarm kind of thing that happened a uh, very long time ago I, I joined this back before like back when 4d and those teams were a thing when like odd tried to get me into this game i'm pretty sure odd he like messaged me I was like oh i hear you're a wreck player you want to join like try out for 4d and i was like oh well you know i not really. This this game doesn't look that much fun. You know, I'm kind of into Rec Room. And then, you know, all the Onyx players, such as like Flynn and Stone and those guys, kind of started joining. And then I decided to follow along and join I, well, Team I, last season. That was a good team. That was a very good team. I was sad to see them go, but, you know, they'll be back. I, have, I, hear, I hear that they might be back. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> He's like, I don't, I'm not me. Um, yeah. It's funny about 4D because uh, he's telling you to try out for the team when he was basically, that was the Walmart of clans back in the days. Like, they were just letting everybody and anybody in, and they were so huge. They had, like, thousands of members in their team. I might be exaggerating that, but they had a lot of people on their clan <laughs> back when HGH was very, very, very small. How about you, uh, Tim? Tim, by the way, just made it in right in, right in the deadline. How'd you get into the Hyper Dash? Hey, uh... Yeah, how did I get into Hyperdash? I, I bought the Quest 2 and I checked out what games was available in the catalog and I saw a game called Hyperdash and I thought, nah, worth a try. And now I've been playing it every day since. So. Every day since. And you also create some awesome uh, graphics and assets for the shows. Thank you for that, man. Those cards are amazing. Oh, thank you. What gave you the idea to create those cards? Did you do those in the past or see them somewhere else or something? Uh, no, not really. I was talking to Style about maybe doing something for the website uh, in that direction. And uh, I had something sort of ready and I thought it would fit in well for the for the award ceremony. Oh, so, yeah. yeah pretty lucky, I guess. Get a chance to check those out on the Dash League Awards uh, video. You can see the cards that he made. They're awesome. She'll try to get them re produced, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, welcome everybody to the, the Dash series. Uh, so, what's been going on lately? I don't know. How, how did Fido's go? I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Moon, did you see? Did you think Fido's was going to end the way it did? Uh, uh, it's a weird question to me. Yeah. Do I think it ended? What do you mean? Undy won. Undy also, you because you talk about because both teams were from Undy. No, well, is that because you're a top tier player and, and you and you know both teams very well. Do you think that uh, Ark should have won that one, or you think uh, team name was it was a good shot that he, you know, obviously. Oh yeah, I know both teams very well. Exactly. Um, I think there was a 50-50 chance that Undy was gonna win, and yeah. So you didn't have a favorite in the match. Uh, I, I, I already said who was going to win. I knew who was going to win. And I'm right, right? Oh. Yeah, Undy. No, he's Sam, right. Undy, um, won, Undy, right? Undy won. Yeah, that, that was exactly. the whole plan from the beginning, was to um, to do a fake split up and then just take the league by storm and, and have both teams end up in finals. That's what happens. There was no losing. Uh, we didn't care if it was ARC or TMNM. It was really Undy. Well, I mean, tell us all planned. Tell that to Ark because Ark took it very hard, man. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen uh, I've only seen Odd every now and then now. Percent, did you wish that it would have gone like a little bit closer? Would have gone the distance? 
Um, I mean, control point would have been fun, but nah, you know, winning winning in four maps instead of five was was good. You know, I mean, you don't want to stress yourself at the end, and I think a lot of us were like kind of getting tired. It was a long game. There was way too long of breaks in between. I think we like really just kind of burned people yes. out. Tell me about it. Was it. Hard to watch those breaks. It was like twenty five minutes of break in between each map, just egregiously long. Um, like you, you, you know, you get warmed up and then you get cold. In fact, speaking of getting cold, like I, I um, I have like a Nest thermostat system, and I'm got my headset on. I'm getting kind of hot in my room, so I, I like go and I change the settings, um, to use a different sensor. I thought I was putting on the office, and I put it in my garage, which has a separate AC unit. <laughs> and so the, the fucking AC just kept going and going. At the end of the game, I checked. I, I was at like 60 degrees in my room, and I was like freezing my ass off. I, I was really ready I, I was ready to just be done i thought it was just like me being weird like my body being weird i was like man i feel so fucking cold in fact like half of our comms were me like bitching about how cold i was <laughs> percent put a sweater on stop beating <laughs> that's crazy oh man yeah dude uh but the, the d versus team name uh finals was super intense it went all the way the full five maps that was crazy but yeah, you gave us good performance. I didn't, I didn't even like by the way Team Main performed in that in that matchup. Uh, I didn't even I couldn't even tell that you were that you were handicapped. I wouldn't I wouldn't say fully handicapped. I just, my hands are frozen. I couldn't like shoot at like real speeds. That, that's not handicapped. Um, I mean, sure to some degree, but like you know, it was fine. We had a good team Somebody and we were well prepared. In cold play space, it is a handicap. Okay, or I'm a yeah. trigger shooter, so it's a more handicap. Probably because I have two fingers that are always cold. But if you get the limited edition Dark Moon, I'm gonna grab them. Uh, the Dark Moon gloves from me, you get warmer hands in your colder play spaces and the ability to grip your VR controllers. <laughs> that would have been nice. That's that. I mean, I, I think we can agree here as well, you know. Uh, a a sweet me, Iska, and Bored along with Tim, who's Norwegian, you know, we're used to. It's snowing inside, you know, up here in Sweden and Norway. It, it's kind of cold. Yeah, I just had to shuffle off my living room. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not used to that. It's supposed to be like super hot here, so like I'm running on AC constantly. I'm even sweating right now. I'm not gonna tell you the temperature where I'm at, but no, I, let me tell you guys, I I don't function well at cold. I turn into a rock. Like I just stop. <laughs> I, I curl up. Like every anywhere I'm at. Ask my wife. She's seen it. We're on a hike and it gets too cold. I just curl up into a ball. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> it. It like snowed here once, and there was just like accidents all over the place. Total disaster. 18 wheelers flipped. It was just like, we don't know how to deal with cold, period. You talk about snow, it hails here. People tech. freak out. <laughs> what we say? I'm sorry. Rain, rain's bad enough, too. Did, Bord, did you say something? I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't do cold. I'm sorry. I just can't do cold. I, I, I feel bad for all those cold players out there. I'd rather uh, play in my boxer sweating balls than, than to have to wear 20 sweaters because I'm freezing. I need like a GoFundMe to like do weather seating or something to change this. Or, or maybe just have global warming out a little bit, you know? Everyone should just do their part and pollute a little more. Pollute a little more. Our problem, it's the, it's the other way for us. It gets too hot and we stop functioning. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how it is for me. <laughs> really? Okay, fair enough. Oh, I mean, yeah, either extreme, either extreme is, is not ideal, right? Like, you just want to stay within, like, a certain temperature range. Nah, you want to be uncomfortable. It keeps you on edge, keeps you on, on your toes. Come on, man. You don't want to fall asleep. Like, around, around here, like, it does get cold for, like, maybe two months out of the year. And everyone's just is so crazy. Like, uh, you go into a store during the summertime, and it's, like, 60 degrees. So I'm, I'm wearing summer clothes, and I walk in a store, and I'm freezing. Yeah. And then during wintertime, they jack it up to 80 degrees. So, like, now I'm dressed, like, with, like, a sweater on or whatever, and I walk into a store, and I'm burning up. And it's like, guys, like, this is a bit unreasonable. Let's just try to maintain a reasonable temperature at all times. You don't need to go opposite extremes of what's outside. Well, then that's when you buy Dre Day's uh, air-conditioned heated suit, and you just wear that all day, and you can just be at the perfect temperature all day, every day. I mean, that sounds like a great idea. Nah. Hey, but uh, going back to Hyperdash real quick, uh, what's up with the new payload map? I'm excited for this new map coming up. I, For real, dude, I can't wait. We haven't had a new payload s since forever. I don't, the orange was the last payload, and that was in the very beginning, and then they just did quarries and and other things after that they haven't done a payload in a while or am i wrong no yeah there's only two payloads 
and, but they came out very very close to the beginning of the game right there was we've had this whole gap without any new payloads yeah i don't think i've ever been without a payload in hyperdash and i was alpha 3 yeah and does anybody have any idea what's what it's going to look like what it's going to be it looks underwater yeah yeah odd's got an underwater yeah. theory that, that could be neat oh, it's got a theory it says arc all over he already knows exactly what's going on Ah, really? <laughs> no, don't, don't mess with me. Is it really underwater? Oh, yeah, Dre doesn't like water. I don't like I don't like being underwater. I don't want to be near over <laughs> large bodies of water. I'm not, I can swim. I can swim. It's just the fact of being out in the abyss of over water. You can't do anything about it. It's just, I can't deal with it. You guys ever been into an isolation tank? Yeah, no, no fuck that. No. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. no. So it's fine for me in the beginning when I know it's a tank, but when I start forgetting it's a tank and it becomes an ocean, I freak out. Like, oh! <laughs> well, how often you know do you what? encounter this? Like, it well, seems I, like <laughs> I've done it once, and it, it was like a three-hour session, and it kept happening. <laughs> I kept happening, like where I would uh, zone out, and I would think I'm in the middle of the ocean. Oh, that's crazy, man! I've never experienced that. Hey, man, you gotta live once. You gotta try everything once. You guys are not trying anything. Like, what? Are you, what is the weirdest things you guys have tried? Me, I think it would be the isolation tank and dancing in front of Honda World in a mascot costume to get customers. <laughs> what would be the weirdest thing you've done, Percent? Um, I had, I have uh, no, I mean, you know, I, I can't, like, I, I can identify with the not like being trapped kind of concept. Like, I hate going to Disney World and being in the middle of the line with, like, people on either side of me. I just feel like if something were to happen. Yeah. How do I get a, How do I get out of here? You, you know don't, what I mean. You don't. Like, you the fast pass thing is pretty neat, but I, I just I won't stand in the fucking lines. I don't, I don't like that concept of like if there was something to happen, I'm in the midst of this crowd and either I have to like, trample people, or you know I just I, I don't like being trapped. Yeah. No, I get you. I, I've gone to a lot of raves when they were over here in LA, and uh, yeah, you know those crowds to get into the shows are usually tight. But uh, so, but what's the weirdest thing you've done? Like, what would be weird? Like, if you ever driven a go kart in your boxers, uh, you know, you ever use uh, cat food to brush your teeth? What, what anything weird? Um, I've driven a go kart, not not in my boxers per se. Oh, um, but I do but play. I do play hyper dash. I do play hyper dash in my boxers sometimes. Okay. Hey, That's man. the cool thing about VR. Like, you no know, one has any fucking clue what I'm wearing. Not yet. Not yet. Now I'm, gonna hack, now, now I'm gonna hack those cameras and get, and get some visuals. <laughs> How about you, Dark Moon? What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? I'm too young to do stuff. Well, Doug is when I did all the I weird things. Scott, you wanna go skydiving? Oh, that's cool. Heck yeah. What's the closest thing you've done to skydiving, no. extreme wise? No, I I want to go skydiving. No, no, I know. But what's the it mostly like? Have you gone dirt bike riding, jumping hills in your motorbike, or I don't know? What's the most no, extreme thing you've done? Planned. We plan to do that stuff, but we never really did that. How about archery? You be shooting archery in the in the forest or something? Oh, yeah, I've done archery and throwing knives and throwing tomahawk. That was so fun. We used to go to this place. It was like a Native American resort thing. I don't remember what it was called. Yeah, it was great. Except for the owner died, and then we didn't, couldn't go. We did it with a grandpa. It was amazing. Well, I repeat, Reco, that guy. amazing at archery. He would shoot the arrow and it would ricochet off the ground and hit the targets. Oh, he does trick shots. Amazing. I like watching this It was videos. all accidental. A bone cool. shot. Yeah. I also watched this kind of video. Hell shot. YouTube. On, uh, on my wedding, well, it was, it was the, the weekend of my wedding. Uh, we went to an archery spot in Las Vegas. And yeah, by accident, because I, I have terrible aim. Obvious, you guys know how terrible my aim is. I shot one arrow and it, and it went bullseye and I got excited. And I shot the next one and it went way off the mark. And then I shot the third one. And guess what? It hit the second bullseye, like right next to each other. And I took a photo and I was like, look. So, uh, but that's way, that, that's pretty extreme, man. Is that normal for you guys? Do you guys always throw tomahawks in the forest? <laughs> like, I don't. Uh, it was normal way back when, but not anymore. Uh, well, I mean, you can always get back to that. But that sounds that sounds totally cool. What about you, Ikea boy? What's the weirdest thing you ever done? Uh, maybe playing playing hyperdash in my boxers too. In your boxers? <laughs> as long as it's boxers, I mean, if you're doing if you're going out there like a wrestler in your tidy whities and I mean, uh, do what you want, live live life. Fuck it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, Husky, shout out to Husky. He got me addicted to extreme stuff. So because of him, because he does those uh, unicycles, those uh, motorized unicycles that go like 60, 70 miles per hour, 
I wanted to get one of those, but I got a, a pretty powerful scooter that I'm riding around right now. The streets that my wife made me get a helmet for. That's pretty fun. What about you, uh, Iska? What's your what's the weirdest thing you've done? The most extreme thing you've done? I haven't really done anything extreme, but well, I have a bow and I, I want to start shooting more arrows. Not at people, but you know, just <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> getting fine. good. Yeah, yeah. Um, good thing is best fine. I'm worried now because none of us had to mention that. Uh, <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you thinking about it? <laughs> uh, well, uh, watch out. Yeah, well, things are different here in Sweden. We don't use guns, we use bows to hunt. Paddle axes. <laughs> yeah. Hunt, hunt people. I mean, animals, right? Not people. <laughs> uh, depends. Depends, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, laws are different in different countries. How about you, Shiny? What's the weirdest thing you ever done? That's a good question. The law requires me to say no. That's all I have to say. Okay, I'll move on. I understand that completely. Tim, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Oh, uh, this is the worst part about being at the end of the line. You're supposed to have a good answer, but I have no good answer for you. Okay. Like, I don't I do not do much. Well, what do you do I, I don't know. What do you do for fun? I play Hyperdash. <laughs> Hyperdash all day, every day? <laughs> no, no, not all day, every day. I mean, what I do. Get Navy and I go out into the forest, sleep outside in the cold. I mean, that's, to some, that's interesting. But, yeah, I don't know. Camping's awesome, dude. I love camping. The only problem is it's so expensive here in LA, but I love camping when we get the chance to near LA. Wait, camping's stuff. expensive in LA? Like, you have to pay to camp, man? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, for, oh, no. for, for a camping spot, it's probably about 60 bucks a night, but if you want a cabin on that, it's about 130, 140 bucks a night. But those cabins are oh, awesome. I mean, that's cool, but like camping is just get a tent. You just like run in the forest and like yeah, you start a fire. Right. You know, it's like it's all free. About, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm talking about like not even like like t flush toilets i'm talking about, like vaulted toilets you have to like and what scares me about those vaulted toilets is that i'm always afraid i'm gonna be too high or drunk and fall inside so you know <laughs> i have my fears but that's still like glamping like camping you have a tent you dig a hole for your toilet oh uh, no we have tents but we ain't, we ain't digging holes for our shit no no <laughs> <laughs> but i love cabin yeah man going out there with nature maybe with some magical items and yeah you got you're good to go <laughs> but uh camping is great that's, 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 that's why we still can so what are you guys hoping that hyper dash is going to bring in the future like what other uh maps or other weapons are going to bring out that's a good question i mean i'm, I'm hoping for hyper dash to continue using some of the unreal tournament weapons and map styles you know the original unreal tournament like the first one if you ever played that one, no, I mean, I the game is in a way based on Unreal Tournament with the weapons and stuff. Explain that to me, please. I mean, the sh the, sh the pistols that you spawn with, the rocket launcher, those different weapons, the shotguns—they're all like kind of remade versions of weapons from the 1999 game called Unreal Tournament. It's the game does remind me of that game a lot. And there's a weapon in Unreal Tournament which is a grenade launcher. Similar to the rocket launcher that is currently in Hyper Dash, but it has more physics and it bounces around more before it explodes. A weapon like that would be pretty interesting. You're right, you're right, because you could toss well, that into a I spot, bounce it in, and then it explodes. Definitely get on board with that. Yeah, no, that sounds neat. Yeah, it's a like short a more annoying bounce rocket shot. launcher. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And it has physics instead. It doesn't bounce just randomly, it instead uses gravity to, you know, you can shoot it above walls and stuff like that. That's cool. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I'm down for that. I'd love to get the sword in Hyper Dash. Just dash oh, yeah, around no, and slash awesome. people. Yeah, the, this, the melee weapon has been requested several times. Uh, I think they might be working on something. I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything, but so many people are requesting it in different ways and different forms. I'm sure they're going to come up with some sort of melee weapon. I understand the fears they have with it. like Because Hyper Dash is fast-paced, and you might swing real fast and hurt yourself, because I've done it. But I wouldn't consider everybody to be as stupid as I am. So well, I am. I, I've hurt myself any game that requires swinging around. I've, dude, I've definitely got some injuries. Dude, just putting my hand into the power up to get the the weapon, I've hit my fist against the wall. Dude, have you tried gorilla tag? It's <laughs> oh, like a, oh, no. oh, <laughs> you're man. like swinging your arms while I just like punched my 3D printer with an index controller and I immediately quit. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. This is yeah, too much no. money to be playing with. 
you should not be playing that game unless you have a life insurance. It, yeah. <laughs> that's, on, that's on the policy. It's like Appendix 3, uh, uh, Part A. Uh, do you play Gorilla Tag? <laughs> Please check box. <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 bad. And you're, 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 how many of you guys are playing on Quest? How many of you guys are playing on Index? That's a good point. I know I know percents on Index. Darkman, what are you on? You on Quest or Index? Uh, Quest 2. Quest 2. What about you, Board? Quest 2. Uh, Iska? I have a Rift S that's half broken. <laughs> He's like, I'm still hanging on. I'm still hanging on. I like to think of it as half working, you know? Yeah. Like glass half yeah, That's true. Shiny, what you yeah, got? You positive. Kind of the same here, except I have the, the, the normal Rift. I've had it for like four years now, and I don't know how it's still working, but, you know, somehow it is. Hey, if it works, it, I don't want to get rid of my Quest 1 because it, it still technically works, man. But I can't, I don't know anybody to give it to or sell it to. What about you, Tim? I have an original Rift as well, but I play on a Quest 2 for, for now. For now. Yeah, it was you think the, Rift, the original Rift is not as good as the Quest 2? Or you just like the freedom? No. Yeah, I have freedom. I, I Well, I don't use the... I actually forgot I have the Rift. It was in a, in a <laughs> box somewhere. But yeah, it's uh, the Quest 2 is really nice, but... Uh, I would like to try out with the Rift as well, see it it's playing on the computer. I haven't tried Hyper Dash on the computer yet, just on the Rift. No, the Quest, I mean. Cool, yeah, the FOB is horrible, music. though. I just got, oh, like, yeah, title, and uh, I've been blasting some music. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that title is dope with the high-def high, high def music and the... That's what I'm saying. No, I got some, uh, I got some like, the Sony, what is it, like, the XM4s or whatever. They're on sale for Black Friday. And I got title, and I've been just messing with it. And it's awesome, the sound quality. Black Friday this year sucked. Be cats and dogs, I say that. It just, it, it, I don't, it I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Mm. What you did? Anybody else get anything good for Black Friday, man? Because I, I, I got a couple of things. I got, I think I got a stream deck, and I forgot what else I got, but everything else was just a bust. I forgot Black Friday happened. It was it was definitely different from most years. Like normally, you walk into Best Buy and there's just like bins and bins of Blu-rays and 4K Blu-ray, which is like neat. But this time, it just felt like a, a TV sale, which is cool. If you need a TV, there's like one day a year that's good to buy one. I understand now why the, why everybody else is like I don't know what you're talking about because they have no idea what Black. Do you guys have Black Friday over there in Sweden and all that? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we're yeah, we do. Me too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know because Americans always assume everything like, oh, don't you guys have Veterans Day over there? No, mofo. <laughs> we had different veterans. <laughs> Wait, you guys don't use Fahrenheit? What? <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh I, I am. I am off of the inches Elevin. and foots. I hate inches and foots now. I, I want us to go to meters. I, I, at first, I was like, nah, F that. We're American. We keep it. Nah, man. Meters, man. is the way to go. We need to get rid of inches and foots. I just I actually opened up the Celsius to Fahrenheit calculator in the background here when we talked about temperature earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, about yeah. 20 Fahrenheit where I am, where I'm at right now. That sounds freezing. Uh, that's hot. That's summer. Yeah, that's hot. I got to open the calculator for that. that means. But see, the, it could be hot either because it's actually hot or because y'all are Swedish and you consider anything hot. That's like it's minus five degrees. 20 so degrees? It's below oh, yeah. freezing. Jesus so, Christ. Me, yeah, same here. Let me explain, remember, I don't know if you guys remember back in the days, but there was this one time during the cast where this studio got to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is for Celsius, oh but you could imagine how hot it was in here. <laughs> 116. Oh, we'd be gone. Oh, I'd be dead by then. Yeah. Wait, yeah, 46 be dead. degrees be dead. Celsius? I don't know how you're going to be gone. I wouldn't live, honestly. Oh, no, I, yeah, no. <laughs> me, I was barely holding on. I don't know how my equipment survived because I was still running all the computers and everything. And let's just say that I thank God you guys only see the, the top up from here. You know, you didn't see the waist down because let's just say it wasn't a great show. I mean, 10 degrees Celsius and all of Sweden burns down. Yeah. That's too hot for us. <laughs> wow. Our trees aren't used to that, that temperature, you know? Yeesh. Man, the more we talk about temperature, I, I keep having panic attacks. Let's talk about some more hyper dash. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there, uh, by the way, uh, compared to all the other VR games, you guys play any other uh, strategic R VR games like Onward, Pop One, uh, any of those other team VR games? You know, I was going to say Rec Room, but then you said strategic, so yeah, I, I changed my mind. I'll throw Rec Room in there because Rec Room is pretty dope. I like Rec Room and the quality of players they brought into us. Oh, no, it's. The the like the league community is not not that great. No, there's there's not that. But the mindset is not to be like, oh, okay, I want to play this game and get better and improve. The mindset is like, oh, I hope I get carried, I get on a good team. 
It's like all the different leagues use a draft system. And you have like the top 20 players on 20 different teams and the rest of the teams are getting carried. It's not very great. Wait a minute. So you just brought up a great point. What if DL ever introduced a draft system? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be DL. Yeah. I, I mean, but I, I'd be interested. Yeah, exactly. You know, just like a different league. They're kind of fun. It would be interesting, but after a while, it gets too like repetitive. I, I've played what well, now like five seasons of Laser Tag League, that one league people talk about. Uh, I've played it since like 2018, and it, it doesn't get fun to swap teams every season over and over again to never really have the connection between players or stuff like that. Imagine being like you know Arc or Team and M or D or whatever. And spending an entire off season practicing, an entire season making strats, and then next season all of you will split apart on the different teams. And that happens over and over again every season. It's not that fun after a while. I, it's that, interesting for one season, sure. That's not too far. What happens sometimes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not too far off. It's not too far off. It's happened several times. No, yeah. also, you have to have like limited number of teams. It, it gets excessive. Like right now, how many people could actually be a captain and know who the proper people to draft would even be? Um, three. It'd be you, Dark Moon, <laughs> and I guess uh, Odd, maybe Makers. <laughs> no, I think there's more. I know, I know, more you, guys, than that, I know but... you guys are watching every single player up close. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say oh. that anymore. It's getting so big, it's hard to know all the players anymore. Well, I think uh, a board should be drafted to D. Yeah. yeah no, we want yeah. that to happen. <laughs> D board. Yeah, it's been going on for so long. Ever, ever, ever since the first day that he joined Hyperdash, he messaged in Dash League General he wanted to one v five D. He wanted to like one v one Dark Moon. That was the first thing he said in the server like a month ago. He's gonna get there eventually. All right, we believe in him. All of IKEA, we believe in this guy. He's gonna yeah, get on D. Sure. That too. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I don't want. I don't want to my own torn. But you know, I, 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 w I was on teams champ. I was on D's championship team back in the days. <laughs> Man. Hey, he hey, but it was I got I got on because they basically came into the booth and and, and forced me into the car at gunpoint. And it was it was kind of cool ride though. It was cool. Thanks for having me on that ride. Towards I pissed everybody off with my crown. Remember Dark Moon? <laughs> that was fun. Board, you just keep just keep at it, man. Just keep. You know what? The thing is, is 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 if you can't get in there through skill, just get in there through personality, man. Yeah. He said, yeah. I don't have much of that either. <laughs> Chats, I'm gonna get on D. <laughs> nah. There's always bribes, though. That's a good third opinion. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, just saying. Oh, I was about to say. I don't think D uh, takes money, though. They take skills. They take we anything at this take point. Skills or money? We it depends take, on um, the money. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Even I sell out for the right price. It's Swedish. I think everyone has good. a price. Like, yeah. There's definitely a special. I guess that's true. If I was paid, you know, hundred thousand dollars to not play Hyper Ash again, sure. <laughs> yeah, or I would even do less it. Money than that. I would do it for. I would do it for like twenty grand, ten grand. Yeah. Not twenty grand. I thought not I was. Gonna, I was gonna end it at a hundred dollars. I would not pay anymore. <laughs> I said a hundred thousand. I was like, oh, okay. A hundred dollar? Fuck no. Hundred dollars. Pay me hundred dollars. Yeah. Watch the next time I play. <laughs> Like you've you've obviously heard there are p paid players out there, and it's like funny because it's one of those things you think about. Like, what would be your price? Legitimately, like, no, nah, ten thousand wouldn't even get it done. And that, obviously, I'm not worth ten thousand anyone. So it's best to just not try to offer me to pay, for, you know, pay for me to be on your team. Five bucks, I'm yours. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let Quad know. Um, that's your price. Five dollars. Okay. Well, yeah, um, five dollars. Uh, so you might be the, no, the newest the player then, right? He beat, he beat me. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go lower than one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> nah, I nah, could do one dollar cool. for a game. One dollar, and I won't play that hyper dash no more. There we go. I'm just kidding, yo. I love hyper dash. It's the only game I basically, even though I bought games during the Black Friday. I don't know if you guys got any games during the Black Friday deal. I got um, what is it? Stride. I wanted to try that one out, and I got Tetris Connect. But I'll be honest with you guys, it's basically the same version as the console. I don't know. You guys convinced me that it's not. I had that game on console, and it's basically the same version. Tetris? Tetris Connect? Hmm. Is it where you connect the Tetris blocks? You guys never heard of Tetris Connect? Never mind. I thought you guys played that game before. <laughs> per se, you never played that nope. one? I don't know. I mean, I played Tetris. I don't know what Tetris Connect is. Well, there's a VR version of Tetris 
that's on the, the Oculus store that was on sale. And everybody was telling me to get it, but I got it. And it's kind of, it's not, it's not where it's at. There's other games that are better. Is there any games you guys got during the Black Friday deal? Uh, uh, I bought yeah, the Xbox Game Pass, but that's not really Black Friday, but... Oh. After playing Resident Evil 4 VR, I got Resident Evil 5 to play with my friend on Steam. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I wanna get that game. The Resident Evil 4 VR game looks really fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. Is it, is, is, it, is it a long play or is it short? Uh, well, I mean, it has replayability and it's pretty long and decently hard on the harder difficulties. I check it out. I'll check it out. But yeah, I was playing those other games, but then I always go back to Hyper Dash because Hyper Dash is just the way to be. Uh, it's even though I get whooped a lot in the game a lot because I always pick a lobby too with high level players because, you know, whatever. I'm gonna lose anyways, and I can only stomp low level players. So why would I want to do that? So it's you know just either get whooped or stomp low level players. So I just choose to get whooped all the time. But it's just fun. Even getting whooped is fun. And then the different levels and modes they come out with is awesome. I can't wait for the new payload. The mutator was dope. You guys think another uh, holiday theme is going to come? Yeah, I, they hinted at it. I'm pretty confident we're going to see like a Christmas update. Maybe some snow instead of mist, you know? Launchpad has decorations. I mean, I want to see some really messy, like, uh, new additions when it comes to, like, you know, mixer, those things, you know, mist and those stuff. You I, I want to see stuff like, uh, yeah, I want to see, like, <laughs> I want to see some really, really funny ones. Like, oh, you can only turn right, or you're like twice the size, where everyone has that five times nice. HP. <laughs> the Zoolander no, like, mutator, like, you can only turn right. That's funny, dude. I like that. Yeah, no, I, I've seen those in other games. I mean, I want to have, like, a, a mutator where you only have a limited amount of dashes per life, but there's no, like, you don't charge, they don't charge up. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. You should write these down and send them to the board. I the mean, board the is very good about using yeah, ideas that work. The devs, I mean. I want to see. I want to see Christmas light rockets. So you can like look in the sky and see the sparkling thing going to. Oh my up. god! Yeah, you yeah, know I I couldn't <laughs> that not agree awesome. more. That that sounds sick. <laughs> uh, candy canes, maybe I shoot rockets. <laughs> Damn, dude. Now y'all got me excited for this update. I I'm just, like, hoping anything. I mean, the pumpkin head's pretty neat. I, I wonder what they're going to do, like, Santa hats or something. Yeah, that, that vampire uh, mutator was dope, too. Although, I don't like that it, it vibrates my controller when I get the absorb the, uh, the life, because then I think I get shot. <laughs> the vampire things are weird. Turns out it's instant, and not when those green things come to you. I didn't know that. I thought I was just getting murdered because the green yeah. things didn't get to me in time. Oh, I didn't know that you either. You can make a very painful 1v1. Yeah, I didn't know that. You can have, like, really uh, like, a 1v1 where both players, you have, like, headshots only on, you only use SMGs, you have double the health uh, uh, with the, the vampire thing on, with pumpkin head on. It'll be a never-ending 1v1. <laughs> it'd be awesome, though. We also want uh, the ref, the ref mod. Where we can have a ref in there that can't get shot. That'd be awesome. And what else did we come up with? We came up with a few ideas. Let's see what, how many of them they actually listen to. The devs are great about listening to good ideas. They won't tell you which ones they take, but they'll definitely listen to you if it's a good idea. Uh, so let's, let's see. Let's, 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 you know, we're getting close to the end. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys hope to see the IKEA team, Scrim team become? Like, what do you, you want to become an actual team? Do you guys just want to be known... Like, kind of like HH as a dope clan. Like, what do you guys hope to do with IKEA? I think our main goal right now is for you to show up uh, for a scrim. <laughs> that, that's our goal. Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what am I going to do there except talk smack and get shot? I know. You got to you gotta practice your Swedish, man. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they must have to speak as well as yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, uh, uh, that's German. That's <laughs> I got that. Does that count? Oh, yeah. Close enough. Close, Close enough. enough, yeah. <laughs> Dankeschön, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I had a, a girl out there, so I learned how to say Ich liebe dich, which sounds terrible, but it's actually I love you, I think. I mean, I mean yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, I'm doing it terrible. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I can't even do Spanish right. I'm Cuban-Puerto Rican, so it, it is what it is. But uh, the, I, 
I want to see that kid either become a team or a clan or something like legit, like more than a scrim team. It would be That's fun nice. to do a team, but well, I wouldn't see Present or Dark Moon or any of the guys leaving to join us. I don't know what you're talking about. So I don't know, man. Join all, Ikea. Five dollars. Oh, yeah. yeah, five dollars. Same here for me as well. I'm leaving Onyx. Five dollars. If you are cheap, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cheap. <laughs> hey, cheap, bro. That's where it's at. <laughs> Money talks. Yeah. What's your price? What's your price? What do you just ask the real IKEA? Oh, you the said 100,000. Like, 100, uh, real company. Um, yeah, what do you just ask the real company to pay you? Yeah, no, so get if, if you get, and if you get some IKEA sponsorship money, um, I'll just take a lifetime supply of those Swedish meeple. We'll call it even. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. All right, I know what I'll do then. Rag, yeah, we'll make it, it happen. I mean, funny enough, I'm pretty sure that Noggle is like a relative to the, the you know, the guy who created IKEA. The, the CEO. And I'm pretty yeah. sure. I know he mentioned it sometime a while back. Hey, well, ask Noggle where all those parts that I come in the box that are always missing, man. What the heck? Ask him where those parts are. I got a bunch of stuff that I can't put together. Oh, I mean, all those awesome. instructions. Yeah, we have the instructions. Yeah. We actually have. I don't know if you're able to pull up what's whatsoever right now, but in the. In the IKEA Discord under strategy, we have a a PDF of a, a very like a 28 pages long in like manual on making a is is it a couch or like a I don't it's remember a, exactly it's what a it is. chest of six drawers. Yeah, and we named it D strats. It was our strategy against D, and it worked very yeah, well yeah, as yeah. you guys can see. Uh, yeah, That's when I got well. into the server, it's the first thing I looked at. I was just rummaging through this. I was very confused, but I figured it out. I figured out how they work. Yeah, I actually have a quote from Noggle after reading that. I'll see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Yeah, here's Noggle saying, I'll take top shelf, board, you'll take bottom shelf. Head directly for the screws when we have these sides under control. <laughs> that was Noggle's strategy. That's the IKEA strat for the new payload map, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, now, Sadly, it's revealed now. Now, there's supposed to be a, a payload charity tournament or some sort it's, i don't know what it is exactly are you guys gonna participate in that that sounds fun uh, who knows you guys can uh, try that, to participate in like ikea yeah depends on the times yeah that's true i feel bad for you guys because uh i know i'm terrible with times too I, I don't even yeah i'm usually here in the morning when things are happening the the last yeah. like uh charity event at the uh, universal was one of the organizers behind that started at like 11 p.m for me so that's uh, some late nights there playing Hyperdash. Worth it, man. Worth it. Oh, yeah, for sure. That right. was so they much got, fun. They got like, what, like three headsets out of that? It's pretty cool. Yeah, that was I really mean, nice. Do one of those fundraiser things. I don't think I want to play the new payload map, if I'm being honest. You know, all the people talk about how amazing it is. It's like closed in and really cool. Have you guys really thought about the fact that the bounce shots are not going to go up in the sky now? <laughs> but they're always gonna bounce all for like times. I with my about luck, it. Maybe spell, with my I'm luck, I'm gonna to die all the time. I take my luck, you're gonna die all the, the bounce shots that kill me. It's like a hobby. Um, so yeah, I and imagine if it. there's no sky, if there's a roof instead, we'll get even worse. Damn. Yeah, it's, it sounds, sounds like fun, the perfect man. map to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just have to spam even more bounce shots now than I already do. I didn't know that the charge shots, bounce shots happened until shocks came out. And I realized you could charge your shots. That's how long it took me. I've been with it for a while. <laughs> so it's, it's, you know, you live and you learn. That's why we have these shows and we talk to each other in the Discord. Absolutely. No, it's to cool. Um, I, I didn't learn about bounce shots until maybe a month in. Some Someone was teaching someone and I overheard them. Sorry, they taught me how to use bounce shots when I first started playing. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, there there's some disgusting spots on on Canyon where if you if you stand in a tiny corner and aim at like a rock with very weird dimensions, you could like hit someone across the map if you do it perfectly. It's it's hard. Oh yeah, there's a lot of good bounce shots on Canyon. Yeah, I made like it, a video crazy. about it, like comp compiling a few bounce shots. We actually had people like testing out all sorts of spots all around various maps and then posting the results. It's it's you're right. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's a, I actually shots. use some of them in competitive yeah. matches as well. They're pretty nice. You can like hit oh, yeah. into the checkpoint yeah. from a safe area and stuff like that. Yeah, I yeah, remember the, time the first time someone like classic. posted a clip of was a Gatsby getting taken out from a bounce shot through spawn, and um, that was funny as shit. <laughs> <Kinda> like... <laughs> That's pretty dope. <laughs>
you got the wheels turning, everyone's like, oh shit, dude, there's like way more you can do with these things. So they what, the shot went into the spawn or out of spawn? He was in spawn and he shot out of the spawn and Gatsby was like hiding in that little nook on Canyon. Um, trying to describe like near the sniper, you know, the little, um, yeah. what is it, like a hallway type thing. And the bounce shot like got him. It was funny. <laughs> that's dope. I like that. I like that. Well, that's the kind of tactics and skills you learn by joining the Discord, the Hyper Dash or Dash League Discord, or hit up IKEA and get up in the get up in the scrim team, man. Uh, I don't know if they're checking contracts or what it is that how you get in there, but hit them up. It sounds like a fun group of people. Reminds me of the TBDI team because those guys are fun to play with too, man. I, I got to play with them one time, and they they love like they love the music. They love having fun. It's it's fun when you have good teams that are not taking it that serious. So I appreciate all of that. Cause in the game, it's a game, everybody. It's a game. Relax. I have to remind people in pubs when they're like, "Come on, we're not winning." It's okay. We're we're not in a league match. That's the reason why I play this match. Cause we're not in a league match. Relax. So it's good to have uh, all of us in this world. We need the people who are playing for fun and the people who are playing serious. Thanks so much to all the guys that joined me today. It's been a great, you know, conversation. Let's start with percent. Thank you so much for being here, for doing what you do, for helping me out all season, and congratulations on winning uh, season three uh dash league uh dash league season three there we go that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> um prizes are in the mail they're coming real soon i think i just wrapped it up i think i'm gonna mail everything out next week so any last words any shots from you percent um shout out to you dre i mean you're literally like the heart and soul of this community yeah i, I don't <laughs> think i would be nearly into hyper dash as i am right now if it weren't for like you and your cast and streams and all that and the content you put out I mean, early on, man, you had some crazy bangers, like the uh, dash court, and so you think you can dash and stuff. And that, that's just got me addicted right away. Just try to have fun, man. It's all about having fun, and hopefully people are having fun watching it. But thank you. Thank you for that, man. Uh, and yeah, we, have, we always have a good time, man. We always have a good time. Uh, my favorite now is the twerking robots. I, I, but I think I'm going to put it out there as a screensaver so people can have it as a backdrop. <laughs> twerking robots, just... <laughs> <laughs> it is the best it is the best i'm just glad the devs didn't get mad because i was like should i show them this nah i'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission because this is too good to not put out if they say no <laughs> <laughs> uh dark moon man thank you for being here you're always great you've always been great uh since rich dope family i know i said rfd but it didn't rhyme so i said rich dope family after that i hope you understand i hope you're not mad but you've always been a great player and always been fun to talk to and be, be in the booth with. Any last words, any shout outs from you? Uh, thanks, Dre. I want to shout out IKEA. They're a great team. Um, I, I wanted to go a little bit more in on how I got into IKEA. Cool. Shiny told me that I need to keep up the end of my deal and that if IKEA gets close to winning, I have to join the, the IKEA Discord team and I was asleep when I made this deal, but you know, it, it's the way that I got on IKEA. So I think it's it's the perfect recruiting thing. Just saying, yeah, exactly. everybody should try recruiting yeah. this way. Um, you know, you get on scrim teams, you're probably gonna get on real teams. <laughs> 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 so that's that's a secret uh, for the best players. Wait till they're sleep deprived and then ask them to join your team. Yeah, yeah. that's how it worked. All right, that's how we, that's how I know how lady a lot of ladies out there got their husbands to do things. So let's let's keep it going. Akia, board. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us for the show, man. Uh, hopefully things work out. Hopefully you guys become an actual team. I want to see you guys in one of the leagues, either Pew Pew or Fun Dia or somewhere. I want to see you guys somewhere as a team. I want to see Akia team go up. Uh, any last words? Any shout outs from you? Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, uh, shout out to Akia. For being the best scrim team of all time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I third that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here, here. Huzzah! Whatever they say. Iska, thank you for being here. Appreciate your time and everything, putting this together, getting this going. Uh, sorry, I forgot to you reminded me. Thank you for reminding me. Any last words, any shout outs? Yeah, I want to shout out Nord, and I also want to formally apologize to Odd. He kind of got mad at me and our, <laughs> and our death scream that we had. I did a thing where I didn't fire my gun. <laughs> and I got 950 points in total on payload. <laughs> he, he wasn't happy. But, but, uh, but you probably got the rest of the story. It's, 
great. Yeah. <laughs> but We're then on water. waterway, I shot, I killed one person and I almost top scored. Oh, wow, okay. So he was he mad out scored on. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I shout out to you, man. You do a lot of work. We know. Just, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That guy's weird. Uh, Shadi, thank you for being here again. Thank you for everything. Congratulations on Onyx getting as far as they did. Any last words? Any shout outs? Uh, it, it's kind of the same, you know. Shout out to IKEA. Shout out to you for having us here. Also, big shout out to, you know, to Onyx, of course, my own team. And an extra shout out to TM and M for slaughtering us in the semifinals. That was amazing. And the last shout out to to Schemos. I I hope he recovers. You know. Literally the best. The, the, the team's logo was so great that we had it in the store, and then the team came back. So I mean, yeah, you guys should just ride high on that alone. I'm staring at my Onyx poster right now, man. It's the best. Tim. Shout outs to you all season helping us out with the cast, with the assets. Uh, those cards were awesome. Uh, I would love to see uh, hard thank copies you. of them. Uh, any last words, any shout outs? Well, thank you, Dre. It's been, it's been great. It's been fun being here. Um, yeah, I got a shout out to my team, Dark, and uh, to the other incarnation of uh, IKEA, which is Nord for the Pew Pew Cup. Looking forward to that, uh, getting a second season maybe. Yeah, so that'd be fun. So, so you guys already have a scrim team from the scrim team? No, it's uh, like a full team for the Pew Pew Cup, the oh, EU Cup, oh, okay, okay. Uh, which is like basically that's a lot of overlap with the players in IKEA. So, yeah, the team are actually captains for Nord. Oh yeah, yeah, true. I forgot. <laughs> Pew Pew Cup is uh, is that the is that the name? I heard you guys might change the name. Is that going to be the name for next season? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. Well, Pew Pew Cup is awesome. Uh, it's more of an international league. So if you guys get the opportunity to check that out, it's definitely uh, fun. High skill, high intensity, but also, uh, I don't know. I, I like your guys' cast. You guys look like you're having fun in your cast. And that's what I always want to hear and see is people having fun on their cast. So I appreciate what you guys do over there. Uh, check out Fun DL if you guys get a chance. Uh, it's just mayhem, uh, insanity, chaos all rolled up into a show uh, i don't really know i you think of wrestling and nfl streets put together and then you get fun dl there you go boom and check that out uh dash league season four will be coming out in january but till then i do have some shows that i'm coming out with new shows new content that i have ideas for uh some ideas that i had in the past that i haven't got off the ground that i'm finally going to get uh done at least a pilot episode just to see if it even works i would like to get another so you think you could dash episode but it's so hard to get people together we'll find out but i want to bring hyper dash content in the off season for you guys for you guys to enjoy um dash league ep coming out soon uh we got eight tracks for the dash since since we've been doing dash league we've created eight tracks i'm gonna put it out on an ep for you guys to either stream or uh, maybe I could put all the videos in a row so you guys could watch. But yeah, we have eight tracks since the beginning of Dash League, people. Congratulations to all of us for doing that. Shout out to MC uh, Pew Pew and Dusty and everybody else and Fix for helping me get those songs together. Uh, it's, you know, it's fun in, in mayhem, but coming soon. That's all I got so far in my head. I could think of if I forgot anything. I'm sorry. Don't sue me or sue me. I don't have no money. Thank you to the IKEA team for Scrim team for being here. Uh, it's been a weird day. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.